स्टूडेंट स्टूडेंट विल कंटिन्यू मोशन चैप्टर इन दैट स्पीड एंड वेलोसिटी ऑब्जेक्ट्स इन मोशन ऑफन हैव वेरिएशन इन देयर स्पीड्स फॉर एग्जांपल ए कार व्हिच ट्रैवल्स अलोंग द स्ट्रीट एट 50 किलोमीटर पर आवर गेट्स स्लोड डाउन टू 0 किलोमीटर एट अ रेड लाइट एंड देन अटेन अ स्पीड ऑफ 30 किलोमीटर पर आवर ड्यू टू ट्रैफिक ऑन रोड कैन यू फाइंड द स्पीड ऑफ द कार एट पर्टिकुलर इंस्टेंट ऑफ टाइम You can tell the speed of car at any instant by looking at its speedometer. The speed at any instant is called instantaneous speed. The speed at any time is called what? Instantaneous speed. We can describe the motion of a car moving along a straight road with varying speed using a distance versus time graph. Along the horizontal axis, we plot the time elapsed in seconds. and along the vertical axis the distance covered in meters general pace of motion with varying speed is shown here you see this is time along x axis seconds this is y axis it shows distance in meters what is the speed of car at instant time t3 at t3 what is the speed of the car we will see average speed means what ma distance by time taken so at t3 what is the distance s2 minus s1 we will get this distance from by t2 minus t1 then we calculate average speed for a very short time interval and encompassing encompassing the time at any instant t3 this interval is so short interval that the value of average speed will not change materially if it was made even shorter the instantaneous speed is represented by the slope of the curve at a given instant of time this okay the slope of the curve gives speed of the car at that instant if the slope is large speed is high and if the slope is small speed is small if slope is large it is high and slope is less it is slow speed gives the idea of how fast the body moves in general body moves in a particular direction at any instant of interest and this direction may not be constant throughout the journey so we need to define another quantity called velocity velocity is the speed of an object in a specified direction velocity is what it is a speed but it is a in specified direction for example the car moves with 15 meters per second due east here 15 meters per second is speed and 15 meters per second due east is velocity so velocity gives the idea of how fast the body moves in specified direction velocity is a vector it can be represented by the directed line segment its length indicates speed and arrow indicates the motion direction of motion if a body moves in a curved path the tangent drawn at a point on the curve gives direction of velocity at that instant it moves in a curve path its tangent we are showing what velocity Observe the following diagram and try to draw tangents of to the curve to different points. Does the direction of velocity of a body remains constant or not? Next one is observing the direction of motion of body. Carefully wheel a small object tied at the end of the string in horizontal plane. Release the object while it is wheeling on the string. Try to release the object at different points on the circle. and observe the direction of motion of object after it has been released from the string you will notice that the object moves on a straight line along the tangent to the circle at the point where you released the direction of velocity is tangent to the path at a point of interest massa unit of velocity is meters per second in our daily life we must have observed many motions where in some cases the velocity of an object which is in motion is constant but in other cases it continuously changes next children we will see uniform motion understanding uniform motion consider a cyclist moving on a straight road the distance covered by him 
with respect to time is given in the following table. Draw distance versus time graph for given values 0 seconds, 0 distance, 1 second, 4 meters, 2 seconds, 8 meters, 3 seconds, 12, 4, 16. What is the shape of the graph? You will get a graph which resembles the graph shown. The straight line graph shows that equal cyclist covers equal distances in equal time interval. For the graph, you can understand that the instantaneous speed is equal to the average speed. If the direction of motion of the cyclist is assumed as constant, then we conclude that the velocity is constant. The motion of a body is said to be uniform when its velocity is constant. The motion of a body is said to be uniform when its velocity is a constant. Okay, students. Okay, ma, here is your homework. Distinguish between speed and velocity. How do you measure the instantaneous speed? Please do your homework. Thank you, ma'am.